like uh, we are we are discussing about the the installation steps installation sap build sap installation prerequisites we discussed which means what are the things we required right what are the softwares we required what are the hardware requirements we required to install the sap systems right so the same time so how to start the softwares we know how to what are the softwares we required now here yeah. then how to download the softwares how to download the softwares right how to download the sap softwares there is a separate different procedure for the sap it's not like that go and google it and get the link and download it here here you need to log into the me.sap.com or service.support.com me.sap.com or service.service.sap.com or support.sap.com site you have to log in then it will ask the yes user id yes user id starts with the yes double zero and a number so this will be provided by the your company when you join the organization they will provide the your yes user id using this yes user id so we can download the sap related all the softwares and everything here documentation softwares everything we can download it here here you can go to the download software center so there all the softwares are arranged as a alphabetical order wise alphabetical order wise all the softwares are arranged here so then we can log in and there we can start the in we can download the sap softwares here right me.sap.com or service.sap.com so here to log into the our gem server our remote servers so in your laptops in your laptops or tabs or whatever it may be desktops just the search r so mstsc you can type it here then you will get the remote desktop connection right otherwise just you can go to the run control windows r in the run prompt also you can type the mstsc then you will get the one pop up remote desktop connection here remote desktop connection here so here in this remote desktop connection you need to enter the our gem box server ip address our gem server ip address you have to enter it here like this you need to enter the ip details ip details and so check your what is the user id it is configured sometimes what happens in your in your sap sorry in your logon pad in your username field email id or something automatically it will be populated right what you can do just go to the just go to the here so go to the show options just remove the whatever it may be just remove the just put the your user id whatever the user id you can put it out here just click on the connect button just click on the connect button here so then it will ask the password then you can type the password you can type the password just click on the ok button then you will be able to log into the our system just accept the acknowledgement here just by clicking the ok button okay then you will be logging into the our jump box server here this is our jump server which means this is our remote server where you will you have to do all the work and everything in this jump server only okay so this jump server is very fast so you can log into the here right so here so once you log into the here what you have to do here you have the tools actually here you have the tools are available here to connect to the sap and everything but before connecting we have to know how to install the sap systems etc etc right so then here first of all so once you log into the here the first step is here so so you connected to the jump server that is fine then here right so now let's talk about the how to download it here how to download the sap softwares here so open the browser so suppose like in your real time maybe you may not get the access to uh, practice here but i will show you how to do that one here right you have to log into the so browser here just type like service.sap.com or support.sap.com or me.sap.com then it will ask the yes user id yes user id just visit me.sap again it will route to the me.sap.com only me. 
sap.com only me.sap.com only so here here we go to the systems provisioning here so me.sap.com systems provisioning then you see the software download center software download center here otherwise directly you can software center me.sap.com slash software center then we will able to open the list of softwares here list of softwares here this is the so url okay this is the url which you have to connect it in the systems here right here all the softwares they have arranged as a alphabetical order wise alphabetical order wise here alphabetical order wise you have the all the softwares are available here all the softwares are available here so which means so uh, like whatever the softwares are required so what are the softwares we required so for the installation of the sap so we have we required the swpm tool software provisioning manager tool this is the installer tool then exports then and kernel and so db db client db db client so and sap host agent sap the host agent here this is we require these are the list of softwares we required these are the softwares are common if any product you are going to do installation any product means sap we have the n number of products are available here so sap ecc right so sap sap ecc product then sap ecc product then sap netweaver product sap s4 ana product sap systems normally we will call it as a ecc systems nw systems s4 ana systems then fury systems then s4 crm systems then there are the number of systems are there here number of systems are there here sap so then s4 s4 fury crm srm there are the number of servers are there here so any sap installation so you have the common procedure common steps and common softwares you have to download it here common softwares will be helpful to download the here so here swpm tool swpm tool is common right exports exports are like if you are downloading the ecc then ecc exports you have to download it you are installing the netweaver system netweaver system installation then you are installing the CRM system, then CRM system installation exports, you have to download it. Then S4 and S4 and exports, we have to download it here. Only exports are the different, remaining all are the same here. Different means ECC, if you are, you are planning to install the ECC system, then you need to download the ECC exports, remaining softwares are common. Netweaver, just only Netweaver softwares you can download it, then remaining softwares are common. CRM, CRM, S4 and S4 and So softwares are common here. The softwares are common here. Softwares are common softwares. We can use it here. So, so only thing is downloading the thing, SWPM, only one software kernel, DB, DB client, host agent are one, one, one softwares. You can download it, exports. If you are planning to, your company planning to install ECC, then you need to download the ECC exports. Netweaver, Netweaver exports, you have to download it here. Means depends upon the product, depends upon the product, you need to download the, depends upon the product, you need to download the respective, depends upon the product, you need to download the respective exports, we have to download it. Depends upon the product respect to exports, we have to download it in the systems, right? So then log into the software.service center. Then you can see the download the softwares here. Here you can see all the softwares they have arranged in the order, proper order. They have arranged it here. See, proper order, they have arranged it. So you are doing the installation, then check the installation checkbox. You can check it out here. Right, select it here. Then you can go to the by alphabetical index A to Z. So, which means all the softwares they have arranged into the why because they have the lot of products, not the one software, they have the lot of servers, lot of systems, lot of products are there here. Right. So, but each and every software is required, right? That's why they have made it as a alphabetical index here. Right. So means C means CRM, 
B means banking servers related information, Bob J. So E means ECC, ERP, right? F means Fiori, G means gateway, high speed, ANA. So like that, M means mobility platform, master data management, N for net viewer, and all those things here, right? So you can see they have arranged the all uh, S for S4 on a success factor. Yes, starts with the all. So we have to download respect to software here. Respect to software, you have to download it here, right? So the first one is the SWPM software. SWPM software here. So SWPM software means here. Just to go to yes means SWPM, like software provisioning manager tool, right? So then yes starts with the yes here. If you go to the yes here, 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 the softwares are available here. So yes related C burger, SAP, INST, ECC. So there are the lot of plugins, success factor, yes, for ana. Yes related, all the softwares are available here. Yes related, all the softwares are available in this location here, right? Just to go to the SL tool set here, SL tool set here, here we have the Let's say here you have the SAP. <laughs> so we are doing the installation, then installation related. Installation related here, he had the SWPM tool is there. Installation related, we have the SWPM tool is there here. SWPM tool, SWPM tool. See here, SWPM softwares are there here. SWPM softwares are there here. You can download any latest version, you can download it. Only latest version will be available. Just you can just click on this folder. It will be downloaded. Depends upon the operating system. Just click that folder. The file will be downloaded. SWPM file will be downloaded here. This is the way we have to download the softwares here, right? Just to go to the S for SL tool set. S for SL tool set. This is the tool actually. This is the soft SAP installation tool. Any kind of SAP installation common procedure, common steps, and common softwares, we have to use it here, okay? There is no, so there is no separate, separate procedure for the each and SAP system installation procedure. So common procedure for everything. So that's why if you learn SAP installation on the one product, either Netweaver or smallest installation, then it will be easy for you for any SAP installation, we have to choose the common procedure here, right? So that's the reason. So here SL tool set installation, then download the, the respective file. You can download it here. Just if you click it out, it will be downloaded. If you click it out, downloaded here. So that is the so SAP so tool set here, network tool set here. Okay. So the next one is like a here. So SWPM, yes, that is fine. Then exports. Exports. Exports means suppose if you are installing the ECC. Then E E for ECC, ECC exports are here. ECC means ERP, right? ERP, ERP product. Then you can download the ECC related things. You can download it here. ECC related things, you can download it here. There is a versions are available for the ECC. You can download the, the latest version of the ECC. So you can download it here, right? This is the latest version here. So suppose if I talk about the versions here, ECC versions here, so what is the latest version here ECC SAP ECC so initially they have released the ECC 5.0 they have released it then after that ECC ECC 6.0 they have released it now ECC 6.0 and EHP 1 they have then they have not released the EHP 7.0 so ECC EP ERP means so this ERP means so is ERP enterprise resource planning software, right? Under that only we have the ECC, right? Netweaver, so S4 and a Fiori, these all are the so product, SAP product here. Suppose if we, if we talk about the Unilever, Unilever are in the biscuits, chocolates, right? Shampoos, and so there are the many products are there, Unilever products, right? So they are in the all the business areas. So here SAP also. It's not limited to the only one software, one server, one real-time business. They are in the all the business here, manufacturing unit, so HR units, and also uh, and also like uh, planning uh, missionaries, and also the real-time business, then analysis, uh, analytical businesses. So they are in the not only just here, they are in the all the businesses they have related softwares are available. All the businesses, the related softwares are available in the and available for SAP here, okay? So here, 
so coming to the ecc ecc sir which version is the latest why because tomorrow during the interview point of time they may ask you what version of ecc you have worked on it here right so then if you know the history of the ecc list of versions then you can simply tell so this is the version right so then ecc 6.0 for ehp1 then ehp2 is 6.0 so ecc 5.0 they have released it then ecc 6.0 ehp2 then ehp3 then ehp4 ehp5 right ehp6 yearly once they will start releasing the so this ehp here this is the the latest version and they have stopped it here they have stopped releasing the new enhancement packages new enhancement packages here so ecc means enterprise core component ecc means enterprise core component here enterprise core enterprise core so component enterprise core component here ecc means enterprise core component here which means enterprise core component means enterprise means organization core means main so every organization this ecc software is the main com main co main component main business component here right every organization any company any business ecc is the main software means every person they have to install the ecc software they have to install it every person they have to install the ecc software we have to install it here so ecc enterprise core component ecc software we have to install it here enterprise core components here enterprise core components we have to install it here every company so if i talk about the versions of the ecc if you see here so initially they have released the 4.6 4.7 like that but not but if you know ecc 5.0 ecc 6.0 versions then after that 7.0 they have not released it then they have they have released the enhancement packages ehp1 ehp2 ehp3 4 up to 8 they have released it then they have stopped it here in the 8 then they have released the the next generation business suit that is called the s4 hana s4 hana is the next advanced version of the ecc here then they have started releasing the s4 ana systems in the s4 ana means fourth generation simplified fourth generation so business suit here this is the third generation business suit this is a fourth generation software here right so still few members they are using the ecc few members they are already started going to the s4 ana systems so still they are in progress so why because by end of 2027, SAP is going to stop the all the support, ECC support. 2027 December, they are going to support all this one. So by that time, customer have to migrate to the S4 and our systems. Customer has to migrate to the S4 and our systems. Yeah, that's why. So they are using that. They are they are releasing the SAP S4 and our product. They have released it into the market, right? In the S4 and also there is a latest version 2023. Then S4 Hana. 2022 then s4 hana 2024 still not released then 2021 then 2020 so like that they have started releasing the so s4 hana 2020 not the 2020 yeah 2020 and before versions you don't require so these many versions they have released it here so here ehp4 ehp5 ehp6 ehp7 ehp8 if you are going to install the ehp8 then go to this folder ehp8 here installations you are doing and which database you are doing the installation so sap we can install on any database any operating systems any database any operating system here so but so any database any operating system we can do that one but we are installing on the s4 and then select the s4 and you can download the s4 and related exports the installation export one by four means total four files are there here then two by four three by four then four by four right installation exports these four files we have to download from the service marketplace here we have to download from the service marketplace we have to download it these four files we have to download it right so installation 
exports here these are four files are the installation export files here we have to download it if you click on this button so that will be downloaded it will be downloaded here automatically right so here Then it is started downloading it here it is started downloading it here it is started right installation started downloading the files and everything here right so like that the installation will download the all the files all the files will be downloaded in the systems here right this is the installation export files here installation export files here okay so that is the sap installation software right erp software here right so then ERP installation export softwares, that is fine. Suppose if they asked you to download the S4 ANA, they don't want to ECC, they asked you to install the S4 ANA system, then S means S4 HANA, S4 HANA exports, you have to download, go to the here, S4 HANA. So then here, you can just go with the S4 HANA, where is S4 HANA? Then you can just search where is the S4 HANA, then okay they don't have license i think so there should be a license is required for s4 hana license is required then only you can see the s4 hana related softwares so if you don't have the folder respect to folders or respect to softwares here which means you don't have the required permissions you don't have the required permissions to install the s4 hana softwares here you don't have the required permissions here right so you can see 1909, 2020, then 2021, 2022, 2023. So here, like this, we have the softwares are available here. Like this, we have the softwares are available here. So before that, we have the then S4 ANA, S4 ANA, S4 ANA, so 1909, S4 ANA, 1909 here. So right, so 2020, then 1909. So before that, also we have the right s4 yes, hana s4 yes, hana 1809 then s4 yes, hana then 1709 then s4 yes, hana then 1610 then s4 yes, hana then 1511 1511 so starting they have released the so 1511. 1511 is the first S4 version they have released it. Means 2015, 11th month. Right? Then 2016, 10th month. 2017, 9th month. 2018, 9th month. Means in once a year, they will start releasing the so the new S4 ANA versions here. Then after that, 2020. Then instead of putting the so 2019. So then they have maintained as a year, just year only, 2020, 2021, 2022, simple naming, simple remembering purpose, they have maintained the 2023, like that they have changed it, the naming convention here, like that they have changed the, their naming convention, initially month, year plus month. So now later they have changed it to the, so only year they have kept it in their versions here, these are the s4 hana versions this is the ecc versions here if i talk about the netweaver version only important things we will we will we will discuss only here only sap netweaver initially 7.0 they have released it then sap netweaver 7.1 so why slowly typing here sap netweaver 7.2 then sap netweaver 7.3 then sap Netweaver 7.4, then SAP Netweaver, SAP Netweaver 7.5 here. So this is the latest, is the latest. So this is the 2023 is the latest. ESP 8 is the latest version here, right? Well, because these are the some important things for every organization. They will install the, these products. So that is the reason. If you go every interview, interview, they may ask you, they may concept that you what is the what is the netweaver version you are working currently? What is the ECC version you are working currently? What is the S4 ANA version currently you have working? So what are the number of products are there in the SAP? Can you tell me the so five or six products, right? ECC, Netweaver, S4 ANA, Fiori, CRM, SRM, right? So MDM. So layer like that, 
the number of products are there in the market, right? Uh, PAI, PO, uh, so there are a lot of products we scrolled on. Then enter this uh, one hour time, we can keep on discussing about the SAP products only, right? So we don't require to discuss all those things, but yeah, the main thing is the, the main products you should know, you need to remember the main products, you have to remember the so main products, you have to remember the So main products, you have to remember the, the versions of the SAP and everything here. Versions of the SAP and what is the use, for use of that software here. So here, if I talk about the NetWeaver versions, if I talk about the NetWeaver versions here, so NetWeaver versions are, this is the base. SAP NetWeaver is the base for every product. Each and every product. SAP NetWeaver is the base, base software here. Each and every product, SAP NetWeaver is the base product here, right? Then ECC NetWeaver also is required. ns 4 na NetWeaver also required here, right? So SAP NetWeaver application, NetWeaver is the basic for each and every product, SAP product. If you want to install the CRM, NetWeaver is required. SRM, NetWeaver is required. Fiori, NetWeaver is required. s 4 NetWeaver is required. ECC, NetWeaver is required. So base, basic basic thing is very important here. We want to install the respective thing here. Respective thing, the basic thing is very important here, right? So this is the, so so now let's see, let's move on to the, so download the respective software here. Which version you required, you can download the exports as well, right? So then next one is the kernel, kernel. So SWPM, uh, like uh, exports, it depends upon the product, we can download the export. Suppose if you want to download the CRM system, customer relationship management system, so then you can go to the C for CRM, then download the CRM exports. Download the, the CRM exports. You can download it here. CRM exports, you can download it. So it depends. It depends on the so product. You can download the respective product. You can download it in the systems here. Right? CRM exports, you can download it here. Right? So that is the how to download the exports. So same as like, sir, I want to download the kernel. Kernel means K. K for kernel. Then go to the K. kernel 64 bit version you can download the latest version which is there in the market so which is there in the installation folder just installation which operating system you are going to install the sap as i mentioned here sap we can install the windows linux so solar assist everything we can download it then wherever you are going to install it download it just click on this button then sap so kernel will be downloaded this kernel files will be downloaded here right like this we need to download the kernel files as well sap kernel files also we have to download it in the systems here right sap kernel files here sap kernel files we have to download it in the systems here right so then after the kernel next one what is called the so kernel exports db db client host agent so these all are the simple db db related means if it is a hana db h for hana database we can download it here here if you go to the alphabetical order so there, H for HANA, HANA related softwares, we can download it here. HANA related softwares, we will download it here. So HANA in memory, we can download the HANA related softwares, we can download it in the systems here, right? HANA related softwares, we can download it here. So HANA related softwares, we can download it. Installation, what is the latest version of the HANA database? We can just download the, the latest version in the, which is there in the market, you can download it. Okay, that is the HANA related softwares here. Then, so next one is the SAP host agent. SAP, sir, not the HANA. You want to go for the other databases here, other databases, which means you can go to the databases folder. Here also available, so you can see DB2, Informatica, SQL Server, Oracle, MaxDB, Sybase. If you want to install the Sybase, then you can download the Sybase related software. Oracle, MaxDB, so SAP related software, everything is available here, right? Here, ANA is available in the database list. We have the other things, other databases are available here. Other databases are available to download it here. How to 
download the software's mates you have to go to the software center their alphabetical order so then you can download the installation and upgrade you can download the related softwares here so sap host agent host agent host means h h for host like then go to the here so then you can say check where it is available host agent is available yes it is the host agent then host agent is the one of the os level service one of the os level agent it will collect the os level information from os level 2 so os level 2 to whom it will pass sap systems it will pass the information os level information means net work cpu memory all those things will be there in the disk storage all those things will give to the yeah this is the latest version 64 bit is the latest version but which operating system you are installing you need to choose the that respect to operating system then download the host agent download the host agent here like that you can download the host agent right so the it's download very simple actually sap in the download software center here sap so they have all the softwares the first letter they have named it as the alphabetical order wise if you go to the alphabetical order wise the related all the softwares are available bw bw netweaver netweaver softwares right Netweaver exports mobility mobility landscape transformation landscape jl so all the software fiori fiori related ecc erp related e so C means CRM, B means banking servers. So all the softwares they have arranged as a alphabetical order wise. We have, they have arranged it here. Then once we download the softwares here, one download, download will may take some, some long time. So once the software downloads are done, so what we have to do, then we need to start the installation. We need to start the SAP installation here, right? So SAP installation, either Windows level we can do it or Linux level also we can do it here, right? Windows level, Linux level here. So installation, to start the SAP installation here, so either we need to, so two ways we can do the installation, either Windows level, Windows operating system level also we can do it or so Linux operating system also we can do it here. So but Linux, you need to have the some Linux knowledge, you need to have the some Linux knowledge. Anyhow, you will get the Linux knowledge only during the HANA DB administration topic, Linux knowledge. Why? Because that time you will discuss about the HANA purely we have to install on the Linux systems. That time you will get more on the Linux side and everything here. Right? So now, how to... So installation, we have to do it with the via SWPM tool. SWPM tool, we have to start it here. This is the first software we have to launch it for the sap installations here once you download all the softwares here we need to start the swpm tool here so swpm tool go to the windows so windows means go to the systems here so go to the systems here so all of our softwares once you log into the remote server here also you log into the remote server in the remote server you will not get any uh, you, you will not get any server you will not get any softwares and everything here why because we have the, in the remote servers, we don't have, we have restricted. This is only for users logging procedure. You only users will be available here. But they have to, from here, again, they have to connect to the remote servers here. Again, they need to connect to the remote servers here, right? So same as like real time, the real time also, we have arranged the similar way. In the real time also, we have arranged the, so same similar procedure, we have to connect it here. Once you connect to the, the customer client desktops client 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 to network from there you need to connect to the all other servers and everything same as like here also we need to connect it here same as the here we have to connect it here so here you need to so again here you have to open the here just to go to the msdsc here here you can use the so our 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 installation practice host is the sap migration host i will rename this one so here you can just click on the connect it here then you can just provide the passwords here you can use the one common user here okay for installation you can use the one common user or multiple users i will create it so that well, because here the desktop is different here again the desktop is different here so inside of the remote server again you have opened the again you have opened the again one more remote server opened again 
the rem one remote server you have connected inside of the remote server again you have connected the one more remote server you have connected here so here we have the this is the our installation host this is the our installation host here here you need to do the installations here here we have to do the installation or installation of the sap system sap system builds all those things we have to do it in this here so here go to the c drive i will show you here sap softwares here right here we have the all the softwares are available here so first software is the swpm export kernel all are available here right so then you can go to the swpm here then just to uh, swpm just to launch the swpm just to launch the swpm tool launch the swpm tool here so so if you open the swpm file will be downloaded then if you extract that file it will create the one folder inside of the folder you will get the SAP INST inside of the folder SAP INST you need to double click the windows means double click it will start the so it will start the as the SWPM software will be started SWPM software will be started here so suppose if it is the windows so it is the windows simple double click the SAP INST it will be started here right just execute the if just execute the go to the SWPM folder SWPM folder then select SAP INST, then execute it. Execute double click means execution. Then that will start the so that will start the SWPM software. SWPM tool will be started. That will open the link in the browser. That will this will this will once it is started, this will open the so link link. This will open the URL in the browser. This will open the URL in the browser. So in the URL, what you need to remember is here entire installation. You need to remember the HTTPS colon slash slash your host name slash four two three seven four two three seven is the very 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 important thing here. Very very important thing here. Right? Four two three seven is the so thing important thing here. So then, so if anyone asks you what is the SWPM tool port number or installation tool port number means four two three seven four two three seven is the port number for the sap installation here so this tool will start it will open the url in the browser automatically it will open the browser will browser window will open it will open it here it will open it here this tool will start will open the url in the browser here right so at the same time how to do it in the linux level as well in the linux also how to open it here log into the here so this one whoever interested in linux you can do it otherwise first you learn the windows level later i can provide the linux level access so that uh, first of all you will get very hands on on the windows level once you are perfect then we can start the so we you can also do the same kind of things in the linux level so if it is a linux level how to do the installation here so log into the root so So here, let me check where all the softwares are available here. I think here the slash media. So Linux, if you are new to Linux, so don't do it anything in the Linux. Why? Because so you need to learn the Linux. But I will tell you, we have the Linux uh, session. That time you will come to know all those commands and everything. But just want to show you same command, same URL. Only starting procedure is different Windows and Linux. But remaining all the steps are common. Remaining all the steps are common here. So you need to go to the Linux SWPM. Linux SWPM. This is the Linux SWPM. Here also you have the SAP INST. Right? Linux means it's a black box means everything you have to open from through through putty you need to access it through putty we have to access the linux through putty we have to access the so linux systems here through putty so see here this is opened the url in the browser right windows level it is open the url in the browser here right so this is open that is fine let's keep that one so linux level also how to start it here linux level so your mouse will not work linux level everything commands you have to type it here then 
you, if you want to execute dot slash SAP INST, click on the enter button, then it will be extracted and it will ask us to open the URL from the browser. It will ask us to open the URL from browser here, right? See here, it is asking the URL, open the browser, enter the this URL here. So then which means we have to open the browser, we have to enter the this URL here, right? So that is the Linux level here. See here, see here also for KPS4 HANA, that is the Linux host, then 4237 is the port number, right? 4237 is the port number here. So here, go to the advanced unsafe mode, then it will ask the user ID, then which user ID you have started, same user ID we need to give it here. Right, so you have opened the SWPM tool, you have opened SWPM tool, you have opened here. Same, if I go to the our SAP migration host, here also you have opened, go to the advanced, go to the SAP unsafe mode, then, so which user you have opened, so same user, maybe administrator, I have, I am using here, then we can use the, <coughs> same, no? so starting procedure only different, remaining all the activities, any host, any system, the procedure is same here, only the starting procedure of the system is different remaining all are the same see here all are the same here right so if you want to install s4 rana you need to click this one we want to install the netweaver system netweaver systems if you want to install the mdm if you want to install the any other solution manager any other you need to click the respective systems here if you want to install the so ecc so then you need to go to the business suit then ECC systems are the business source systems. ECC means our ERPs, SCM, SRM, CRM systems are the business source systems. Then you need to go to the business source here. You need to select the respective folder. You have to click it out here. So same as like here, if you see here, if you see here, this is also here. See, if you want to install the any other, here also same, same procedure here. Here also you have the same procedure, you need to do it here. Same procedures, we have to do it here. So only thing is, the starting procedure is different compared to the, compared to the, so other only. So Windows level, if you double click it, that will be done. In the Linux level, you need to navigate to that folder, just execute the, just execute the, so SAP INST that will be started. That will be started here. So like this, we need to so execute the so commands. Like that, we have to execute the so commands for Linux. So if you are new to Linux, you are getting confused, just ignore. Only starting procedure is different. Remaining things are common, right? So why because copy the URL, open the URL in the browser, then select the system, which system you are going to select, S4 in a system, then you can just uh, which version of the S4NA system, which version of the S4NA, S4 core. So you need to select the, that S4NA system, you need to select it here. Suppose you are going to install the S4NA 2022, then select the S4NA 2022, then installation, then application server above, right? Here, which product you are going to install it, you need to expand that, expand that one, right? Go to the installation, you are doing the installation, then expand the installation. We are installing the application server above. We are installing the application server above. Then select the application server above. Then standard installation. Installation are the three types of installation here. Three types of installation here. One is the application server. Any SAP product installation, we can install on the so following options. Either standard options, distributed or high availability. Right? Standard distributed or high availability here right so we ours is the application server above application above systems ours are the normally we will all our systems we will call it as the above systems and java systems so above systems means you need to select the above it is a java system you need to select the java so any sap thing so here also you need to select the so this one so then you need to select the which database you are going to install it so either sql server then sql server then installation, you are doing installation, then application server above. So any product installation common. Previously I showed as a so ES4 on a system. Now it is the ECC systems, right? So anything just you need to expand that folder, 
then what you are going to install it suppose like scm then scm systems then which database on top of which database sql server sql server then you are going to do the installation right then click on the installation you are going to install the application server above then select then we have the options here installation we can do it in the three ways standard distributed high availability right standard installation what is meant by standard right what is meant by standard then what is meant by distributed what is meant by high availability okay that i will explain it now so standard installation what does it mean by standard installation here right standard installation here standard means standard installation means so in one one operating system if one operating system if you install sap and db both are in the if you install the sap and db both are in the so one day one operating system that is called the standard installation all right sap and database you are doing the both are in one installation no i don't want to do the sap on db and both installation if one is hurted another one also will go down then what i will do i will create the one more operating system run the two window two operating systems two operating system classes i will install the sap on here i will install the database on here right so that it will be interlinked automatically right then it will be doing the installation it will be the, this is called the distributed which means sap is on one host db is on the one host here that is called the distributed here right so sing standard means sap db both are in the one host this is the distributed here this is the distributed environment here right so if i talk about the high availability means 100% availability if the system system will down another systems are there that will be up which means so what will happen so during the installation these are the installation option so depends upon the your customer depends upon the business customer will ask you to install the this modes standard or distribution or they will tell you how to do the installation but so only selection process is different here so now if you see here if you see the high availability mode high availability options here if you see the high availability options here high availability so standard system distributed that high availability high availability here high availability means installing the in the cluster mode cluster mode means installing the sap systems into the cluster mode here so which means we have the multiple operating systems one one service are here one service on here then application servers are here installation of the sap systems on here so in case of this is down this will be up in case of this is down this will be up <laughs> which means in case of if the primary goes down primary cluster concept primary and secondary concept in case of primary having some issues the services will fail over to here in this host automatically here if something is happened it will fail over to the here so in this way there is no downtime multiple operating systems we have right so only this cost is very more here the cost is very expensive here Single all are in the one operating system. You have the less cost here. Both are in the separate separate. Then you have the again. You need to install the database one host. Database you have to install on the one host. Then SAP on the one host. Your application servers are in one host. Multiple cluster nodes. Then in this case, what will happen? This is down. It will go to here. If this is down. This will go to the here. This is called the high availability mode, which means services will not be down. So, in case of any problem in this OS, this will be up. That is called the high availability concept. High availability concept here. You will get more during the our upcoming classes. Upcoming classes, HADR scenarios, you will get more. Okay. So that is the high availability scenario. So HA mode, HS scenario here. So that you will get more while while going to the further classes, you will get more or to 
how to set up and everything in the hana side you can get more okay so for now we will do it in the single system installation normally the high customers like banking customers they will go for the high availability mode why because banking servers so if the banking server is down during the business hours there will be a lot of impact right people cannot do the transaction that's why it will be in the high availability modes always so that is the reason we have the high availability concepts are there in the market here so now we will do the standard system installation standard standard installation then select the standard standard installation we will go with this one okay this is the way we need to start the swp softwares we have to start it swpm software we have to start it here right so tomorrow we'll continue the so uh, actual install this is the today only just only how to do the swpm so how to start the swpm systems right how to start the swpm systems here so yeah how to start the swpm tool how to start the swpm tool here right so in case of in case of so sometimes what will happen the folder will come as a zip file swpm file will come as a zip file if you extract it the folder will be open then you no need to extract it sometimes if you download you will download as a sar file sar s a r so if you download as a sar file then you need to extract it here you need to extract it here let me show you how to extract the swpm software here right go to the sap software here now we will create the one folder like a swpm so in case of the software you downloaded as a not the zip file it is a sar file why because sap related all the extensions related files are dot sar dot pdf dot text how we have here dot sar so sap sa means sap rkv sar means sap rkv here right so oh, let me show you. sap rkv here right let me in the software downloads so suppose sometimes you may download swpm tool as a sar file right in that case what you have to do you need to extract it here sometimes zip file if you download the zip file that will be unzip that folder will be created then all the files will be available if you are all one will be right it is all the files are available in case of sometimes you will not download as a zip file here it will not be downloaded as a zip file here then in that case in that case what we have to do so we need to in that case we need to extract it here how to extract means using the yes using the sap car means you need the sap car file open the command prompt mode command prompt mode you have to open then here you need to download the like sap car iphone xbf the file name file name means swpm star dot so full life you have to give it so just to i given the star then sap car iphone xbf that is the extraction file that will be extracted so so in case in case if you get the file name if you get the folder name as a uh, zip file zip file just you can unzip it out you will get the this folder as wpm folder inside of that you have the sap nst if you double click it out if you are not received as a zip file here then folder level you got it here so for not the folder level there is a sar file you got it here normally you will get that as a sar file only then in this case you need to extract using the sap car command whatever the sap car command we used same car command you have to use it here same way how i am doing same way you have to do that one okay that is the way we have to extract the softwares right sap is related softwares extraction is the different processor here so normally if the zip file right click and unzip if the rar file right click and run dar it so like that we will do but this is not like this okay so you have the access you can log into the gem server i will i will share the you have the already gem server details once you log into the gem server i will share this host details as well you can also log in and just start the swpm tool so let's see okay just try try validate your access yesterday today just you some yesterday i think some people validated today also you can just check whether you have the access or not so let's see okay so yes while downloading the exports will be having multiple files 1 2 3 4 